Hello and welcome to this Affinity tutorial. Now I'm doing this in Affinity Photo but it will probably apply to designer and publisher as well. And this is a problem with file associations. Now this is to do with the PC, uh, whether this applies to the Mac and possibly the iPad as well, I, I don't know. Um, but I'm guessing the Mac will have a similar procedure for changing file associations. Now when Affinity Photo 2 was installed, I expected it to overwrite Affinity Photo 1, but it didn't, so we now have both versions. Now the only problem with that is it's sort of screwed up with the file associations. Now by that I mean that like in the past if you clicked on a JPEG for example or double clicked it, it would have opened it automatically in Affinity Photo. Um, so what has happened is it's sort of some uh, things have been associated with Affinity Photo 2 and some are still associated with Affinity Photo 1. And the same would apply to possibly designer files and publisher files. Now, on a PC, I've got Windows 10 here, but it should be very similar on other versions of Windows. If you click on the Windows button, which is slightly off of my recorded screen here, but it's in the bottom left corner. If you click on that, it will open up the menu and on this cog here for settings if you click on settings you'll get the options here and what you want is apps and then default apps and then these are the main ones here like my photo viewer is associated with affinity photo 2 but you need to associate that sometimes you need to associate the files not just the app so down here we've got here choose default applications by file type now you have just to have to wait a bit for this to collect a list of file types shouldn't take too long here we go now it starts them off on the left you've got them all the file types listed and there are loads of file types um, but it starts off being numbered and then it goes alphabetically so as you can see here, this .3fr file type is still associated to Affinity Photo 1. Now I've never used a .3fr file type. I don't even know from what product this file type is made. But if I want to change this from Affinity Photo 1 to 2, just click on here and then choose the application that you want to change it to. So I will change it to Affinity Photo 2. So now if I ever get one of these file types, it will automatically be associated with Affinity Photo 2. Now if I come down the list here, let's find one here, like this, this is one I've already changed. This is an AF book. Now this was originally associated with Publisher 1 and I've associated it now to uh, Publisher 2. And we have some designer ones here. So like this AF design is still associated to designer one. So I'm gonna change this to Affinity Designer 2. So it's it'll be a case of going through the list and changing all the ones that you use regularly. I mean I've not changed every single one um, because there's so many file types that I've never ever used. So I can't see the point again through all of the ones I've never used. But I would go through the list if I were you to change the file types that you do use on a very regular basis. Or if you at a later date you come across one that keeps opening in the wrong program, you can do this and change the file association to the program you want. I mean obviously it doesn't just apply to you know serif programs I mean like these sound formats associated to the window player if you want to associate it to some other music player you could do that so that's it basically it's just a case of going through the list and changing what you want to change so thank you for watching and goodbye